Earlier, I spoke to Tom Winterboer, he's the African Bank Curator, about how that particular company has positioned themselves on the back of the macro, the current macroeconomic environment. Uh, let's take a look at that conversation. The risk for the target date of 1st of October would be a number of the, the process we talked about before. Uh, the one would obviously be the firstly we need to put a, the, the act needs to come in place. Uh, we know that that has gone through Parliament and the National Council of Provinces and the State President need to sign it off. So I mean that just clearly needs to be in place but we do not expect that that's, uh, that's a major problem. So that's the first one. The second one is we need to put out an information memorandum uh, and affected parties would need to comment on that. We, we believe that what we will propose there is a, would be a good transaction, but clearly we've got to accept the comments that come in as a result of that. Uh, the next process, the third one on the line then, is an offer document that needs to go out to the creditors. Uh, and in terms of that document, creditors could well say uh, the ones that we have not uh, engaged could well not like what is there. Uh, but once again, overall, we believe the deal is doable. The listing on the, J uh, on the JSE, you have said that it is still on the cards, but you are now ha have pushed the deadline to at least two years. Why has that decision been made to push it out? We've been where we, we initially it was anticipated to do it earlier, you know, in terms of the first announcement that came out on the 10th of August last year. Uh, you know, but in any business, you know, for investors to actually invest in it um, and, and in terms of public offering, you know, they would like to see at least some track record. Uh, in terms of an information memorandum, we will obviously give them some forecasts. Uh, but clearly, you know, people would, before they commit further money into that, want to see a track record. Looking at your financial results, this is a substantial loss that we're looking at, down 58% uh, for the end of the year. But you say there are a couple of factors that have played uh, to the reason uh, that we are looking at the set of results. You know, the, you know we, we have talked about the fact that additional provisions were required. Um, so I think that is quite important. Uh, we, we had to make provisions for our loan of 1.4 billion to, uh, to Ellerine's Holdings Limited. Uh, you know, they are in business rescue, but one would hope that there's some upside in terms of further collections on that. Uh, but by and large, I mean, those, these results would deal with a period of about, uh, you know, within a month after curatorship. So unfortunately, one didn't have an, uh, an opportunity of, of influencing that. Uh, and, and one's really got to see that as part of the past. Uh, you know, one would like to, people to focus on, on, on the good bank going forward. You've made a few adjustments to your loan provisions and what you have said is that this is more robust and will make sure that it's in line with market practice. So given the fact that you've made these adjustments, this will put you in good stead. You know, the important thing in any credit book is that, you know, once you have credit, um, uh, factors that, that impact your book credit events such as a person losing his or her job or things like that you know and, and, and if someone has not paid you for a month or two or three months you know you need to take those provisions that works around uh, probabilities of default uh, you know which which a bank uh, would model it works around what sort of loss you would incur if there's a default and it's really taking those things into account uh, and making sure that you provide as soon as those credit events are there to provide for the losses that you would expect. Tom, how big a factor are the global events um, that are taking place with the US that is going to be interest, uh, increasing their interest rates? Our interest rate environment is also going to be uh, on the upside from what we've been hearing from the governor. How is this going to impact your, your practice and, and how concerned are you about the impact this will have on the consumer? Clearly one provides for what is incurred in terms of losses. So, so the, the point around that is, is also just, you know, credit event means that there has been a, a, uh, an event that has occurred that you need to provide for. In terms of going forward, uh, you know, the you know, overall global economy, local economy, where are we? Uh, you know, one can clearly see the effect on the, on the local consumer. Uh, they continue to be under pressure. Uh, I see there's recently been a, a report issued on the state of the of the South African consumer, uh, and, and and that's not a, a you know a, a good picture. So so it is of concern and remain of concern. Um, but the important thing to us and an African bank on the way going forward is to make sure that there's responsible lending. Very important. Um, there were many comparisons that were made between Capitec and uh, African Bank. 
what is it do you think you could learn from Capitec in terms of their business model and why they've been uh, able to stay afloat even during tough economic environments? Yeah, I think the biggest one that I would certainly highlight is the fact that uh, African Bank had a monoline business only in lending while Capitec had a, a, quite a number of products uh, and, and I think providing you know, banking facilities, transactional banking, uh, and I think that helped them in the process. But uh, as we said earlier on also, we, we are looking at the way forward. Uh, we, you know, some initiatives are already in place and we will share some more uh, in times to come. Just before you go, Tom, uh, your disbursements, you did say that they are stable, but you mentioned that they are at a lower level than what is ideal. Currently, we're averaging around 600 million rand per month. What's ideal and uh, how far are you from reaching that target? Those numbers are down. Um, our cost base is busy decreasing through natural attrition. You know, ultimately in Good Bank, Good Bank, uh, you know, the, the, the budgets are, are based uh, on that 600 and going forward slightly. Uh, and, and so a Good Bank could be in place and has a sustainable model with that. But clearly to make the bank profitable, one would like to lift it. But I always come back to the point that it must be responsible lending uh, to people that are able to repay the bank. Uh, so really a higher quality of, of loan is very important to us.